Hello students, we are in third video of assignment 10.1 of chapter 10 wave optics. In first two videos, we had wavefront and Huygens principle defined and uh, we also uh, tried to understand reflection and refraction rules based on concept of wavefront. In this video, we have last question of this assignment, Doppler effect. What is Doppler effect? and uh, can we apply the concept of wavefront to Doppler effect? Uh, let us see. We know that uh, suppose there is a source of sound uh, which is emitting some wave and uh, there is a listener. So when the source and listener, let us call them A and B. Uh, they are not moving what happens at that time that whatever is the frequency or wavelength of the wave emitted by source uh, let me call it uh, lambda of source is equal to lambda of listener what does it mean that whatever wavelength source is emitting the observer is experiencing the same value but what if we talk about a condition where the source is approaching the steady listener. So those source is emitting some waves but if you ask listener, listener would feel as if the waves are crowded. So in this case the lambda emitted by source is not equal to lambda experienced by the listener. And this is true even if you consider source to be steady and listener to be going away. So in this case lambda s is greater than lambda l. Here also lambda s is greater than lambda l. Sorry, no, I think I made mistake not this case. If the listener is approaching, in that case, whatever is the wavelength produced by the source is not the one experienced by the listener. So in this case also lambda s, wavelength of the waves emitted by source is not equal to the wavelength of the waves experienced by the listener and this is the relation. Now one can always uh, explain this with the concept of wavefront. It is easier to understand it with concept of single wave, so I am uh, explaining with single wave. What if we consider source to be going away, listener steady. Okay, In that case, if this is the wavelength of the waves emitted, listener would feel that wavelength is more. So this is the relation and this is true even if source is not moving but listener is moving. So in that case also the waves emitted and the waves experienced have different wavelengths. So this effect is known as Doppler effect. Uh, in this case, in this case the wavelength, apparent wavelength is less then the actual wavelength means the spectrum is moving towards smaller wavelength so this is called blue shift if some star is approaching the earth we say that um, we will experience blue shift but if star is going away from the earth the apparent wavelength will be more than the actual one and then it is called a red shift that is doppler effect that actual wavelength and experience wavelength both are not same. So that was the topic. Thank you.